it very much intrigues me uh, when I look at social media reporting or people that I, I listen to um, that that pretty much keeps pace with the and keeps up with what the real economy is doing. Uh, and it's nothing like listening to these reports that of the facts, the data, the statistics, what Americans are experiencing now in this country, uh, uh, social economically, and then go uh, out into the real world to service clients because I'm in homes and and you know uh, I interact with people um, and. During my course of interaction, no matter no matter where it is, whether it's in real life or on the internet, you know, I ask people, <clears throat> "Do you like what you do?" And the reason why I ask that is to gauge, you know, what's going on uh, with the economy, but the mental states of of people. Because what I found is that if somebody does not like what they do, uh That person uh, oftentimes did not uh, are not pleasant to be around because when you have to spend 40 hours a day uh, and there's all strata of people, all levels of people where they don't like what they do. You could be making $500,000 a year and not like what you do. You can be making a hundred thousand dollars a year, or 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 thirty thousand dollars a year. It doesn't matter. Uh, but the psychological effects, regardless of what the what the strata of people, um, they're very much moody to be around. They're very much um, difficult to be around, uh, especially in this day and age, because the displeasure of people. When it comes to a wide variety of issues, whether it's you know social economic issues, they're under a tremendous amount of pressure, um, pressure to just survive. And I'm listening to Jeremiah Bay talk about you know this kind of stuff, and a lot of people that just aren't prepared because how can you think about any, think about it. How can you think about any kind of preparedness, any kind of uh, higher level of thinking, thinking outside of the matrix when the matrix got you at, it just got you firmly held. Um, and people are just so attached and dependent and miserable in this system. And very few people are going to get out. Uh you know, uh, you know, the age old saying, you know, a chain, a, a slave that loves his chains has no need to be free. Um, but these are people that, you know, at the same time, love them chains. Uh, and it's sad to see. Uh, because when you have to interact with people that are just pleasantly unhappy, uh, they're more prone to uh, project that onto you. They're more prone to not deal with you in a manner that is befitting someone of honor and integrity. Um, and people don't make these kind of connections. So, you know, I mean, I like, you know, because everybody, we, you know, we have to work. I mean, just like anybody, even or, although I'm self-employed and I don't have to uh, count town and step and fetch to, um, you know, any other um, entity because, you know, I, I provide for myself. I, I go out there and I'm blessed with these hands to be able to produce for my family. These things are like $3.50. Now, I remember when I used to buy Canadian, um, clearly Canadian, for like 99 cents. And that was $3.50. This stuff is just going off astronomically. But I love this drink. Um, but like I was saying. You know a lot of people. You know. Uh, 
when they're struggling to take care of things uh, in their lives. And, and especially if they see you doing well or, or they see that, you know, uh, you're not as affected by what's going on, you know, in this world. And I believe that's the that's the chief reason to be set apart, to to not be dependent on this system and learn how to um, be blessed through the labor of your hands. So, you know, as these fears uh, and these concerns continue to come up on these people, um, a whole lot more misery is coming. You know, I mean, I, you know, I'm not a pessimistic person. I'm just a realist as to seeing what's going on in this world and how it's affecting the people that are around you. And, 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 you know, I, you know, the scriptures go over and over again about mine and the company that you keep, uh, about, um, knowing them that labor amongst you, uh, about, uh, just knowing to discern a friend from a foe. Uh, and you and you do it by you know by watching their fruit by their actions, um, by watching what people do, and because when you watch what people do, when you watch how people live, you're gonna be able to discern uh, what kind of um, uh, person the character of this individual. Um, we all have to do uh, what we got to do to survive and to provide for our families and. And it's it's very demoralizing to a man to uh, know in his heart uh, that he can't provide for his family and not and not be able to produce that, uh, you know, as a man, as a real man that has to produce for his family, uh, more the food, shelter, uh, warmth, uh, medical care, um, uh, safety, uh, educational needs. Um, uh, needs uh, uh, when it comes to uh, their clothing, uh, uh, hygiene, or pro all of this stuff. That this, this stuff costs money. It costs resources. And uh, uh, last I checked, nobody wasn't giving all of these things to me. No one's giving all of these things to me. I have to go out there and I have to uh, uh, provide uh, and, and produce it uh, for myself. And so, you know, as a man, I, I get it and I understand. Uh, but when somebody just doesn't love what they do, uh, it can have an impact. Um, not all the time, I, I'm not saying, but it can have an impact on how people interact with you. How uh, uh, are, are they people of honor and integrity? Because, you know, uh, envy, um, it's, it's a spirit that I see clearly. I mean, I'm telling you, man, and I try and make sure. Uh, that this spirit doesn't uh, arise in me. I mean, I'm, you know, if somebody's doing well, I got no problem with acknowledging it. Uh, if somebody's progressing in their dreams, goals, and aspirations, and they're making it happen, you know, I've seen people that, you know, I wasn't too fond of, um, you know, in the past. And, you know, and, you know, hey, even heal from that. And I always wish people well, um, uh, and, you know, throughout life. Um, and it's a, it's a wonderful thing to see someone that is striving, someone that is moving on with their lives, um, whether fat friend, family relationship doesn't matter. Um, if they're doing well and they're, they're progressing, you know, I, I praise that individual, you know, because at the end of the day, uh, when you're doing well and sure we all have our challenges, but when you're doing well, one of the things that you love to see, you genuinely love to see in your heart is for others to do well. Um, as much to be desired in, in this time that we're living in. Um, do you like what you do? Uh, because see, when you love what you do, um, probably gonna call two or three times. Um, but when you love what you do, you'll never work a day in your life. And so when you love what you do, um, it shows, it really does show in how you treat other people, how you interact with other people. Um, always try and keep a positive, uh, thought process, a, a positive, 
uh, way in which I'm dealing with people, um, honoring people, um, uh, uh, you know, as they honor me and, and leaving folk alone, you know, I mean, just applying those simple principles, uh, to my life, I've, I found that it to become even more so peaceful because you deal with people according to, you know, what, 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 what God they serve, um, what, uh, what values they have in, in a lot of people because they don't like what they do. They don't like the life that they live. Um, they can be, uh, uh, very much trifling, very much, uh, demonic in their, in their dealings with you, not having any honor whatsoever. Uh, uh, no, having no integrity of heart because they, they don't like what they do. They, they don't, they look at their lives and they don't like what they see. And so, therefore, they're going to project that onto you. And um, and so, you know, I, you know, hopefully, I was able to say something that to stimulate thought, to uh, uh, get our thinking, um, you know, put that defibrillator on because we need to be able to discern these things in in the times that we're living in. Um, the discerning of spirits. Let me tell you, you know, and uh, you know, first you gotta learn to discern the spirits in you because, you know, they ain't nothing new under the sun. Um, there's certain spirits I, I think I've, I've never really wrestled with as opposed to the others. Uh, but I've always been a, a person that's genuinely uh, uh, love to see people get ahead. I mean, genuinely. I, I actually, to the bottom of my heart, I, I love to see when people uh, uh, hit their dreams, goals, and aspirations are happy. Um, they're just much, much more pleasant people to be around. And all that I ask that people out there is that, you know, people are going to be who you're going to be or they're who they're going to be. And you nothing you can do about that. But what you can do is spend quality time with people that are happy with what they do, happy about the life that they're living. Because that, uh, in, in that realm, uh, you can really, really develop some good lifelong relationships, um, uh, build together, share ideas together. You're not going to get that from people that are lazy, pessimistic, uh, uh, ungrateful, unhappy, unholy, um, uh, truce breakers, um, deceivers, liars, manipulators, um, people that, you know, covenant breakers, um, you know, people that just, they, they, their word ain't worth nothing. It, it really ain't worth nothing when it comes down to it. Um, be the change that you want to see in this world. Uh, and I think that if we can do more of that, I'll tell you. We can have a blessed life in this wicked generation.